it doesn't get much better in the aviation world than getting to ride Lufthansa's first class. Join me and we'll see what you get for all that money. From the luxurious private terminal in Frankfurt, private boarding our amazing 747, the Queen of the Skies, and checking out the five-star service, incredible seats, and what's more, some of the best food in the sky, as we head down to Johannesburg in the very tip of the nose of our jumbo jet. This is one of the most remarkable experiences you can have at 40,000 feet, and I'll share how I saved a huge amount on the fare and managed to tick off this bucket list item. Lufthansa First Class. Let's go. Today's trip starts in Gothenburg for a good reason. You see, if you want a one-way ticket between Frankfurt and Johannesburg, that'll set you back a cool six and a half thousand pounds. But I started my ticket in Sweden and it cost me just 1,800 pounds. Yes, that's a whopping saving of 72%, just for taking one extra flight. And on our way into Frankfurt, here's a glimpse of what's to come. Next stop, exit the airport and head outside. So here I am, arrived nice and safe, on time in Frankfurt. And one thing they don't tell you about the first class terminal is that it is landside. You've got to leave the airport, come out of the terminal and do a left and just follow this road. And eventually you will come to this rather industrial spiral staircase. But it reminds me a bit of the original spiral staircases they had on the classic 747s. This is not a first-class lounge. It's a whole separate terminal. You can check in here. There's a private security lane. And wow, this is exactly what flying first-class should be like. It's discreet, understated, classy. Even the departure boards here will only list the flights with first-class passengers aboard. Nothing else matters. You can help yourself from a buffet, but you really want to be ordering off the menu if you want to maximize your first class experience. I really recommend booking in a nice long connection in Frankfurt if you ever fly Lufthansa first class, just so you can experience the first class terminal and everything it's got to offer. I had this incredible lean Uruguayan steak and salad for a light lunch and finished off with an ice cream sundae, delicious. There's lots of other loungy stuff in the terminal too, like these private work booths if you want to catch up on some work, but I was really here to relax. Have you ever wondered why Lufthansa gives out these rubber ducks as gifts to its first class passengers? Well, you're about to find out why I've been given my friend here. The one thing better than an airport shower is an airport bath. Look at that. You can even speak to the concierge and get the use of a day room too, and catch up on some sleep in a proper bed. Nice. Check it out, this is uh, some sort of moss on the wall. Definitely one of the weirder airport lounge artworks I've come across. Lots of airport lounges are actually stuffed with art. British Airways Galleries lounges at London Heathrow have that name because they house the airline's art collection. BA knows the value of art as an investment and started its collection in the mid-1990s. 
and even sold some of it at auction for a cool $50 million in 2020 to help it through its rainiest day, the COVID crisis. The good news is you don't have to be a billionaire or a mega corporation to get in on the world of investing in fine art. Masterworks is bringing that world to you. Art is minimally correlated to stocks and bonds and has outpaced the S&P 500 by 131% over the last 26 years. With the cost of living and inflation spiralling this year, this opportunity to invest in a small piece of a masterpiece couldn't have come at a better time. Masterworks has sold six major artworks since 2019, with an average net return of 29% to investors. And if you don't want to wait for Masterworks to sell, there's a secondary market where you can trade in your own art shares to other Masterworks users. Masterworks is democratizing the rarefied world of art investment. There's currently a waitlist to sign up, but you can skip that by using my link in the description below and start investing today. The only thing this lounge doesn't come with is a great view, unless you like looking at car parks and buses. When it's time, your immigration formalities will be completed privately and there's a car transfer to the aircraft. Now you can get a Porsche transfer to yourself, but I think when I traveled there was a shortage of drivers and so we had a shared minivan instead. Still, no hardship and you get the same amazing tarmac tour. And here she is, our Boeing 747-8 jumbo jet. What a beauty she is, and how amazing to approach her from the ground. I'm in seat 1A, right at the front, even further forward than the pilots. Now it's time to get on board. So strangely, we were taken upstairs against the flow of other passengers, where it turns out there's a forward jet bridge just for us. Just us, the three first class passengers. Nice. That way. <laughs> okay, so the door isn't opening. No bother. I'm sure we'll just go down the regular jet bridge, right? Well, no. For some reason, even after every other passenger had boarded, they were insistent we had to go down the special jet bridge when there's a perfectly good door just there. Thank you. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. And here it is, the gorgeous eight-seat first-class cabin tapering to a point in the nose. There's no more special place to fly than here. My seat 1A is huge, comfortable, and enjoys a slight forward view thanks to the curvature of the nose. Waiting at my seat, some slippers, an amenity kit, and a first class voucher for the aircraft's Wi Fi. We'd boarded last and in a hurry, but there's no calmer environment at Frankfurt Airport than our Lufthansa first class cabin. And that is boarding complete, as you can see, 
I have got the entire nose of the aircraft to myself. The only other passengers are in row three, so I'll drink to that. This is going to be a great flight. Mm. You cannot beat flying first class in the nose. I just love the attention to detail here. People don't tend to point this sort of stuff out, but the walls are a kind of brushed velvet, very posh, and there's even a lamp just for illuminating this real fresh rose at every seat. It is my pleasure to add my welcome to that of our cast, Mr. Christian, that's looked on the Starlight's flight tonight to Johannesburg. I really love the design of this seat. It doesn't try to be revolutionary. It's just a good, solid, comfortable armchair which will suit pretty much everyone. Of course, the seat is endlessly customizable and there's even a way of getting the ottoman to slide forward so you can pop your feet up. The Ottoman has some storage of course, and there are other cubbies in the seat, but you might want to know this 747 doesn't have a passenger closet here. This is actually where the crew keep the bedding. No, you'll get your own dedicated locker instead, which is pretty cool. Oh, and in case you're worrying the cabin's a little bit too open plan for your tastes, there's a massive privacy shield you can raise. The big highlight of any first class trip is the food, surely. Now, Lufthansa really pushed the boat out in first class with an extensive menu and wine list.
First up, a delicate goat cheese amuse-bouche. I'm in indulgence mode. Why not order the caviar? Yes, please. Although there's no mother of pearl spoon on board. Maybe an oversight by Lufthansa? Anyway, this is accompanied by default with vodka, which can only be drunk in one way, in my opinion. Appetizers, very nicely presented and lots of different flavors. Germany doesn't have one of those cuisines that British people rave about, but I do admire Lufthansa's confidence in putting German food front and center of what is genuinely a five-star first-class product. I decided to shun the more photogenic options for my main course in favor of Lufthansa's famous veal schnitzel with potato salad and lingonberries. And boy, it was good. The cheese course came with a delicious port wine and I finished off this outstanding meal with a chocolate and pineapple tartlet and this deliciously sweet German dessert wine. The first class bathroom is pretty big and has a solid seat so you can sit and get changed. Plus, of course, it's a loo with a view. There are more great touches here. Nice big slippers, a real rose, and toiletries in the drawers to complement what appears in your amenity kit. What do you think? What do you think? These really suit me. As you'd expect from a seat so large, the bed is excellent and I got about six hours of sleep, so definitely no complaints here. Good morning from the Southern Hemisphere. Finally, a chance to catch up on some entertainment, window views and the in-flight entertainment as well, of course. The selection on Lufthansa is fine, I guess, but the Bose headphones are excellent and some of the best noise canceling headphones in the sky. This amenity kit, by the way, is great. I even kept the case to use as my own travel wash kit and it's pretty well stocked too. Breakfast arrives a couple of hours before landing, and it's just what I need. Not too heavy, fresh, and enough to keep me going. I'm actually connecting through Johannesburg on an Air Mauritius flight when I land. A spoiler alert there for an upcoming video. And so I've got a long day ahead of me. Literally one of the best things about South Africa is this stuff, rooibos tea. 
We're just starting our descent now into Johannesburg. It has been a fantastic flight, and I can't wait to get on the ground in South Africa. And that's it, we're down on the ground, and wow, what a trip it's been. Lufthansa even escort you through passports and customs here in Johannesburg. A lot was made of Lufthansa's controversial Skytrax 5-star rating a few years ago, and again when they were downgraded to 4 stars earlier this year. But if you just consider their first-class product, it's hard not to think this is a real 5-star experience. This sort of flight is special and incredible whether you do it in an A380 or A340, but the 747... This sort of flight is really special and incredible whether you fly on the A380 or an A340, but with Lufthansa, the 747's nose is something really special. An increasingly rare experience and definitely another one I'm glad to have ticked off my bucket list. Thank you so much for watching, stay with me and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.